Hello and welcome back everyone. So today we are going to be playing a new game by Kefir and it is Siberica. So this is a game which is uh, based upon a cyberpunk uh, gaming genre and uh, let's start. So it seems to be like uh, someone is reciting their story about getting, uh, I mean, maybe he was taken down from and some of any of his, I mean he must have been taken down for, uh, by his enemies in the corporate world maybe. Okay, city. So the city name, city's name is Bradbury Complex. So that was the introduction, and uh, so now we have to be um, building our character. So let's uh, let's let's try to build it uh, fast enough. So it really seems to be like cyberpunk game only. Uh, you can see those implants over our face, maybe, and maybe these are the kind of implants we are going to be picking up. Okay. So now I have to be picking up for the augmentations and uh, I think uh, augmentation uh, is going to be good enough if I'm going to be picking up for the uh, restoration of health because uh, Melly Mastery and the Excavator is going to be pretty fine but I will be picking up for uh, Hemo Boost and it is going to be restoring my health. So let's pick it up and let's put my name. If you've been watching my game videos, then you must be knowing that what my screen name is going to be. So let's pick it up and let's start. And it is here now. So we just have been. So we just have. So we just have. Uh, so we just have stepped out of our car, and uh, it says that ah, uh, M Og. My head's killing me. Okay, so maybe we just have been through any kind, some kind of augmentation into this game. Uh, this place is a town, but the navigator says it's the right address. The office is somewhere nearby. Just need to find the entrance. Okay, so can we get into our car? I can't leave until I find some someone to fix my implant. So I think we uh, the the very first task of our uh, of us into this game is going to be uh, getting our implant fix up, and uh, I can see this game is pretty zoomed out. Uh, I mean, if you have played Last Day on Earth, uh, which is the most popular game by Kefir, then you must be knowing that uh, uh, it is pretty uh, your player looks pretty zoomed in and. It's better that way, and I can see the movements of this uh, uh, of our player into this game. The all over gameplay is pretty not up to the mark uh, if we compare it with the last year. Not. Like you can see in last year, not, the movements and all these movements are uh, they're pretty 
they are pretty realistic i must say but here is nothing like that i don't know i mean obviously the game development company is uh, the same company but i don't know why uh, they have made this this game play so unrealistic compared to last year on earth okay so let's get into the game and uh, i can see uh, at the left, left side of my screen find a way into matana biotech headquarters so maybe it is going to be uh, our first mission into this game okay so it says the implant in my head is driving me crazy i need to find whoever installed it and get them to fix this piece of crap okay so by completing this mission we are going to be getting 100 experience and the 150 credits so maybe the credits are going to be uh, the currency into this game so let's head towards that place upon the map i can see a place upon this map okay so i would say that they have achieved pretty good uh, cyberpunk theme and it's nice okay so this guy is come back <laughs> hey what you doing here i'm searching for the mechana biotech offices ha huh, looking for a score you're too late we already grab everything get out of here just let me through and no one gets hurt now that you've gotten onto my nerves someone about to get hurt okay so we have to fight this guy oh we just took him out with just three punches and uh, I can loot him and these are brass knuckles that's great okay so can we equip these knuckles yeah we can so right now we have 10 slots into our backpack but we don't have any backpack right now uh, maybe we are going to be getting it afterwards so that guy said that he that they already grabbed that biotech headquarters so maybe uh, the headquarters are no more operable or something like that I can see the mark up there how do I get there mm -hmm. I think I should be heading up from this side yes so we lost a bit of our health but now I have knuckles so I will be able to fix them up now so this guy a thug and who are you? why did Psycho let you in? Uh, you don't know that Psycho is uh, sleeping <laughs> you mean the dude at the gates looks like he's taking a nap yeah <laughs> oh well you're about to get uh, about to regret that okay <coughs> We have to fight all these guys. So now I can get these guys with two punches, and the last one were the three three punches. And uh, I earned uh, I can do three. I mean twelve credits and uh, hard candy medication and anesthetic in candy form. Habit forming, not suitable for children. So it says it heals over time fifteen. So I uh, I mean. This can be used as a healing item I can see and I got something baseball bag okay so uh, I'll be using my knuckles for a while let's use this and uh, we are healing we are healing that's a nice thing okay bingo here's the office got to get inside uh, okay so let's get in so uh, as far as I know we have to find a person to fix our implant so let's get in and find that guy and do uh, vaccine maniac lover vaccine I don't know what it says okay so the task has been uh, updated now we have to find uh, the find a working computer okay but I can see a crate over the map over the mini map can I get in there? Um, maybe from this side, yeah. Okay, what is 
this battery component a portable source of electricity? Maybe we are going to be reading this thing uh, further into the game. I can say the movement in this game is pretty non-realistic. Uh, I mean, if you have played last day on Earth, the main game by Kefir, then you must be knowing that how realistic is how the movement in uh, that game is. Uh, maybe I'll show you into the screen. Uh, the movements of last day on it and now you can see that the player is not, not moving in a realistic manner. I don't know why, uh, I mean the developers are the same but why they have kept this, uh, this kind of a movement in this game or maybe some other team of developers have been developing this game which belong to prefer only but there are some other guys maybe. Uh, maybe. What can I say? So I can also see some uh, notification over this icon and uh, okay this is just the task item icon okay so uh, let's load this screen okay I've already looted this screen and uh, let's go beyond into the other rooms and uh, so the computer is here who are you how did you get in here Okay, so uh, this guy seems to be some hologram. K Poxman. Okay, incredible. Uh, did it work? Of course it worked. Why wouldn't it? Okay. Hold up, I know you. You're the CEO of that company, K. Okay, so he's a guy who was shot into the head. Okay, so uh, we came to know that into the introduction. And uh, yeah, K Poxman. Yes, and uh, you are a lucky witness to my scientific breakthrough. Uh, but you died. It was all over the news. Your company went bankrupt. You shot yourself. Okay. Uh, but there were some other guys who shot this guy, according to the introduction. Or maybe I'm wrong. Shot myself. No, no, no. Give me a second to connect to the night. Wait. It's 2084. Well, that's just. Hey, maybe you wanna clue me in on why I'm talking to a ghost. Oh, you're one who matters. It's just learned that I'm dead. I just learned that I'm dead. Okay, so he didn't knew he didn't even knew that he he's dead. Fine. Five years ago you had a chip installed in your head. The one that saved your life, right? Okay. Well, the chip also had another consciousness on it mine it was a backup a spare save so maybe that's why our player in this game is frustrated with his chip because uh, this guy big gay boxman is uh, interfering with his brain or something like that i think and judging by all this this backup consciousness activated after the death of the real me okay so it came into life after his death. What a, fasc uh, what a fascinating story. Now get out of my head, okay? <laughs> right about that. I'm afraid I have to refuse. You see, this chip is the only reason you're alive. And that means you owe me. Okay? Listen here, buddy. My head isn't some hole for dead billionaires. <laughs> Uh, believe me, I enjoyed being in my own head better too, okay? You're a mercenary, right? Well, I want to hire you. Do some work for me and I'll leave you. I'll leave your head. I'll even pay you more credits than you can count. Deal? So, it seems to be like a hologram uh, or I should say an artificially intelligent consciousness is hiring us. <laughs> That's great. Uh, what this? Uh, what's this work you need done? Not here. Uh, you've managed to attract enough attention as it is. My secret apartment is close by. No one knows about it except me. So it'll be safer for us there. Okay, so maybe we have to go there. Head there, we'll talk it over once you arrive. Okay, so we have to head up to that place. His secret apartment. Ah, I can see some guys over here. 
Greaser had goon. Okay, that's some. Um, these are the thoughts I believe. Uh, let's try to go there. I think I should escape from this place. Okay, so this is the world map. That's great. Uh, I cannot unzoom this map. I mean, this is so uh, zoomed in. Yeah, it is so zoomed in. Okay, leave it. So, I think we have to head up to this place. Okay, so we have to head up to this apartment. A modest but cozy apartment in Cyberstorm allows you to be right in the thick of things while remaining inconspicuous, okay? Power supply is low. So this place, this whole uh, dark blue place is cyber slum and here besides the apartment. Whoa! We, we can even drive into this game, really? Uh, so the auto, okay, so the car was driving into the autopilot. That's great. Can we hit? Can we hit another car? No, I cannot. No. Uh, the phone vibrates if you are going to be uh, trying to hitting your uh, hitting that car. If we can only drive a car in the name of just driving, it's not at all real or or connected to something else. No. What a wonderful apartment. Do all billionaires live like this? Or are you the odd one out? <laughs> so it seems that the apartment is not up to the mark uh, that a billionaire should be having. That's why we are asking this thing like this. This apartment has everything you need, including inconspicuousness. Okay? Yeah, nobody is in there right now. No, nobody in their right mind would ever wander into this dump. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. You can stay here for as long as you need. This place isn't my, in my will, so consider it yours now. Okay, so he's giving his apartment to us. Is that a hint that I'm gonna have to stay here a while? I remember you mentioned something about work. What exactly do you need done? Mm. Well, here's the situation. If the news is to be believed, I shot myself after my company went bankrupt, right? Well, there are two problems with that. First, my company never would have gone bankrupt and I would never have committed suicide even if it had. In other words, this all seems of a cover up. Someone destroyed my legacy and killed me and I am hiring you to figure out who it was. So yes, we were right into the, into the introduction. We came to know about the real thing. You said you are a five year old copy of yourself, right? Well, a lot of a lot can happen in five years. Do you think it's possible you lost your marbles? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I'm always been in my right mind. Well, up until now, that is. Figure out what happened and I'll pay you handsomely enough for you to never have to work uh, as a hired gun again. Oh, and I'll get out of your head forever. Deal? What if I refuse? Mm -hmm. I'm in your head. I can help you, and I can also make your life a living hell. Just. Just figure this out and we can go uh, our separate ways, okay? So we are finally a mercenary. I'm starting to think I don't really have a choice in all this. Where should I start? First, we need this computer. Fix it. The, the parts are probably somewhere in the locker next to it, okay? So it seems like we, have, uh, we leveled up, okay? That's great. We gain some experience and uh, uh, some credits. New tasks. Get to get the components out of the locker and fix the computer. Okay. So we have to fix the computer now, and uh, I can see some stuff on the minimap as this is uh, loot box, mini locker. Okay. So these are the lockers. Maybe that's cool. Uh, there's some loot already into these lockers. And it is a fridge and it contains a pizza. That's great. <laughs> Flux cola. Uh, food tube light kitchen. Okay. Delivers take out restaurant meals by a pneumatic meal. Oh, that's great. 
So okay, before that, I would be trying to fix this computer. Give access to the black market, secret chats, and cyberspace. So that's all we need computer for. So we need duct tape and the wire set. So he told us to look into this uh, locker. So we picked up all the stuff and let's put it into this place. Okay. And uh, assemble. Yes, Not bad. With repair skills like that, you could lead the mercenary life for a guy in my system administration. <laughs> so maybe he's giving, uh, he's going to give us another job under him. Only. You know, it's too bad you're a projection and I can punch you in <laughs> your smug smug face. Yeah, I'm super lucky to be dead. <laughs> Listen, mm -hmm. you're not from this city and you can't get anything legally without an ID. Yeah? Thankfully, the darkest corners of the map are home to the exact kind of people who could help. So maybe we are going to get the help from the dark net. Use the computer to reach out to shadow. There, uh, there are a hacker group who can get you access to the black market, okay? I bet if you do a little work for them, they won't be, uh, they won't be in your tub for long. That's great. I can see something. Uh, it, it's a couch or some rest place maybe. I don't know. Oh! So we are into the com yeah, we can access the computer now. I wonder that uh, being in the realm of cyberpunk, the computer's interface still looks looks like 80s. <laughs> so we have to click upon secret chat shadow. I don't know what shadow is. I need to get my hands on something without atta attacking my attention. I need your help. We won't help. You do something for us, we do something for you, okay? That's the only way to live. I'm not saying good. Uh, I'm not going to read this all. Uh, you can read this yourself by pausing my video. So, it seems to be like they only uh, they are only saying that we need to gain experience and I need to fix my weapon before. It's the only way fit for the scrap yard, that works, weapon, okay, whatever. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, can we access the black market? Yes, we can. So uh, the first thing we can purchase is gun runner light repair station. The source the durability of first generation weapons. Okay. So we need requirement of uh, level two and the supply is low. Can we purchase this thing? Okay. It wasn't it already there? No, we purchased a new one. Thing, uh, uh, I thought it was kitchen. Okay, so uh, I wonder uh, whether I really need this thing. I don't know. Uh, use the computer to contact Shadow again. Okay, so we have a new task. Okay, so we have to be purchasing this thing. Yeah. That's just the body. Where am I supposed to get the parts for it? Listen, we are looking for a charity. We are not looking for a charity to pay. Uh, you can go to Cyberstorm for the components. There's a gallon, there's a hatch who moved in. They deal with the solar parts, and okay, whatever. We have to fight a gang for the parts, I think. So we have to be doing it like this. They are really talking a lot. They are really talking a lot. Uh, he's saying that say the right password and they'll have something for you. Remember the password, please. The password is please. Okay. So we have to remember this password at least. So we have to drive downtown now. Okay. So maybe we have to reach out to our car. And we can also put the stuff into our car. That's great. Uh, before that, I just came to. Uh, figure out that I should be keeping all this stuff back into my inventory. So let's drive up to that place and we have to go towards downtown now. So downtown, uh, Bradbury complexes, commercial and business hub. The, uh, the use of weapon is forbidden here so that customers can safely shop and or have a 
fight in the cafe. Okay, so that's how uh, that's what downtown is. So we are into the downtown location, and I can see uh, players coming and going. Uh, maybe it is the multiplayer uh, place. Maybe these all these players are real. I, I can I think it I think they are real because they have their names upon their heads. Not these they are the AI I believe, but those players are real. Can't say, but uh, it seems to be and like this guy, Vasily T. They all seems to be real. I can say the game is lagging, so I'm pretty sure it is uh, multiplayer. But my okay, but my player seems to be a female light player. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So I can see some icons over the map. Okay. So we can purchase these things. That's great. We can purchase these things. So these are for instant healing. So let's pick one of these, these bandages and all. I can see one thing here. Okay, so this is the ATM. Uh, we can deposit our. We can deposit our credits here, but I am not getting any credits because they are back into my uh, base. So let's head towards that place, uh, this place. Yeah. Obtain a weapon from the downtown gun shop. So this is the gun shop. So seller at gun and gun. Okay. Welcome to my humble establishment. Over a hundred methods of solving your problems. Assuming you have enough goods. Okay. I was hoping to get something for free. Seriously, are we expecting something for free here? Please. No, 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 not again. Tell your friends I'm gonna go out of business if I keep giving them random for free. I get them, uh, I get them to do one thing for me, and now I'm hooked for life. Fine, fine. I'll get you something. You don't come here again, without your friends, okay? Uh, so, so. Okay, so he gave us this thing for free, and, uh, and after that we have to purchase the things. That's that's feasible, I must say. So now we have to kill five razorheads in cyber slum. So we have to leave this location, and we have to be heading towards the cyber slum now. Okay. So I can okay. So here are the cyber gangs and I can see this is a yellow mark place and this is a red mark place. So it seems to be the difficulty into the game. That's, that's I can see that's feasible, I must say. So we can we can even skip the rights. We can skip the right. That's great. Uh, by paying credits. I can see that uh, we are driving faster now. Earlier we were just driving with the top speed of 120. Okay, so oh, I don't know how. I'll change my lane. So uh, the driving feature in this game uh, seems to be pretty satisfactory and it is something like, uh, I mean it is something different I must say. In other games we have to be uh, waiting for our player to reach to that place uh, without any interfere, uh, I mean without any interface but now we have a particular interface to drive to a place, that's nice to see. So we have to be killing these guys. Do I really need gun for this? I think I should be saving my gun. I think I should be saving my gun and I will be uh, playing these brass knuckles on my ordinary knuckles. Oh, they also have found. I cannot find any spare parts because we came here for the spare parts I think. I think, okay, 
I think this is a place to leave the location I uh, should not be leaving now. Okay, so this is the last guy. <coughs> we just leveled up. So these are the mutated hounds. So now we have to return to home and we have to talk to K once again. But I didn't get anything. Uh, we just we just fought these guys. So these are the disturbance levels. Whenever you're responsible for crime chaos in the district, the district level rises. The higher the disturbance level, the more often it's patrolled by regulators. Okay, so we have to be facing some police, some cops. If we are going to be so guys, we are back uh, to our apartment and uh, i think that's it uh, that is it for today uh, i will be continuing with this uh, task in the next video and uh, for me this game is quite fun i would say that i can play this game a, f a pretty furthermore and i will uh, i'm i'm very interested to find out what happens in the end when we are going to be finishing all the mission for the game so till then Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more and I will be upcoming with a lot of more interesting games and uh, stay tuned for more. If you like the video then please do consider hitting the like button on my video and do consider subscribing my channel. Thanks for watching and uh, uh, you can also uh, have a look over a lot of games I play on this channel, uh, do visit my channel. So thank you, thanks for watching.